Hey guys, today I'm here with my 1962-10. Today, all about heaters and cheap heaters, because we're on a budget. Today I'll show you how to build a DIY engine heater if you don't have a Tannis heater for your plane. When it's cold outside, you can't start your engine because it's too cold. We have to have that motor above 40 degrees to even hit the key. So we rigged up a cheap little setup here for less than $100. So let's take over, let's go back to the shop, show you how we built it, and we'll get back to it. See you there. So I just got back from Home Depot. Um, this is what I'm thinking for our, we're gonna use to heat up the airplane, to heat the engine heater up. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this out of the box and kind of show you what I got going on here. And then uh, we'll, we'll get going. So let's first open up this box. This is just a cheap heater bought for $40 at Home Depot. So everyone's familiar with these old space heaters here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I have on my plane, I have two vents that open for the cowl flaps at the bottom there. And what I'm thinking is I bought these chutes. I'm gonna make these so they fit over here. I gotta cut that edge, make it fit. So one can go to uh, the left side cowl opening and the other one will go to the other side cowl flap. So we can get these both mounted. You can actually mount them so they're side by side like that. So you have one go left and one go right. Mount those right to here and make it so it fits at the top. And this will uh, heat the airplane up. So what I've been using is a propane jet heater um, or even this big kerosene diesel heater. The only problem with this, it's really hot. I mean, it blows out of there, I mean, three, 400 degrees sometimes. And it just hits so much heat, I'm afraid to walk away from it. It does a great job and heats the airplane up in a matter of minutes. I'm just a little worried that heating it up so fast, um, whatever, isn't necessarily good for it. And this will heat up a little slower. And by doing that, by heating this up a little slower, um, whatever, you can actually leave it for a good amount of time where you can just, hey, uh, turn this on at, uh, you know, 10 o'clock and then at noon it's ready to go. So it's a little slower cooling. I think a little bit of that slower warm up there for the motor is better for it anyways. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a tin snip, start cutting. That's kind of my plan with this. So I'll, I'll uh, get cutting and get something going here. Okay, now this is kind of coming together now. So I had to cut this down way, way too big. See how wide that is? It's way over the vents. So I cut it down. I probably cut a good couple, uh, about two inches off it all the way around. Anyways, find out the hammer. I thought I was gonna touch this up. I'm gonna wrap it all in aluminum tape anyways. So it is what it is. So I'm gonna cut down the other side. Make it the same, cut this down so it's all the same on this side. After it's cut down, yeah, we'll put a toes on and make sure it works. We'll bring it to the airplane and put it on.
All right, it's all built. Pretty crude, simple to make, whatever. Just takes those two, splits it in each side. We're gonna run this over to the airplane, put it in there and test it out. All right, we're in the plow truck now. We're on our way to the airport to go check out the 210. Uh, we're gonna fly her tomorrow from uh, Fargo, North Dakota to St. Cloud, Minnesota. So that's kind of the whole deal behind this, uh, behind this heater here is because uh, you know, tomorrow in the morning when we're supposed to take off, it's gonna be 10 degrees and it will be 35 in the afternoon. But when we leave, we wanna get that motor, you know, above 40 degrees before we try to start it up, you know, or at least very, very close to it. All right guys, this is my thought process on this, right? So what I'm gonna do is come in here, underneath the airplane, I have these two cowl flaps. Um, so I'm gonna go over here in the 210. This is an old 1960 model, she's old. I'm gonna come over to my cowl flaps and open them. So now the cowl flaps are open. So what did that do? It opened these two ports in the bottom of the plane right there. There's one on the other side. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking my heater, my two dryer tubes, and running this up in there to heat the engine. So there's one on each side. So I'm gonna stick one right in here, right by the exhaust on the other side, and then that was what will heat the motor. Okay, I got the heater going now. That's what I did, I just, those two pipes go up, they both go down, they go under, and into both cowl flaps are just sitting up there. They actually fit super nice. Four inch fits perfect in this early 210. Oh yeah, there's good heat in here coming through. Yeah, this definitely isn't like a like an immediate solution, but I mean, it's like, I'd probably say 75 degrees under the cowl in here. I mean, that that's warm enough for, I mean, hey, if you kept this thing locked up pretty tight for the night, that would that would warm it up. I mean, we would this would be good enough to heat it. So I'm cool with that. I'm not sure you can see, but that's where the pipe comes in right there, right next to the exhaust pipe there, blowing directly up. Definitely nice, nice and toasty in here. To even heat it a little better, I'm gonna put the muffs in the front here. Just tuck them in here. Keep as much heat as I possibly can. Here. I wish I had a heating blanket for the cowling. That would be that would be killer. But I do not. So for now, I'll just put these in here. Keep it warm. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate your support. Have a great night.